What do you think of the idea of using surveillance technology, uh, GPS trackers for instance, uh, in the care of people with Alzheimer's? Well, we, we insist on keeping people alive that can no longer look after themselves and if we insist on doing that then I think we have a responsibility to them to keep them safe. I like the idea that I can be tracked because if something happened to me, and we if you're talking dementia, that is my big fear. My one concern is that if, if people are no longer able to make the decision themselves to give up their privacy, who makes the decision for them? Be one concern. Other than that, there's a lot of positives that, uh, you know, someone get, instead of someone getting lost, they could be tracked and those things. I understand they're doing it in a lot of facilities already, so. So I worked at another facility where we had, there was cameras, even in the nursing stations, that they were gonna um, install, and I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable. Not that I'm doing anything wrong, but I think if you were somebody that didn't work in healthcare and you're looking at us watching what we're doing, they might think we're doing something wrong when we're not. I mean, in, in a way, it's good. If something happens, then they catch you, and like, let's say, if they're, uh, for the safety of the resident, you know, if something happened. But then, in a way, it's kind of like um, for our duty, it's kind of hard because like we're constantly um, reminding ourselves that we're being watched, and so therefore, it kind of make our duty seems a bit, you know, like off. And uh, I'd like, yeah, I'd like to think, you know, we've got. Well, I've had elderly parent with dementia. And you have, we all, we have children now. And one would like to think that the people looking after your children or your elderly relatives would be doing the exact same thing if they were being watched. We have wander guards on a lot of our residents right now anyway, so we know if they leave the building, right? So I don't know how, I mean, I, if they put a GPS on me, that may be a little different story, but if you're doing it for safety, I mean, I don't think it's really an invasion of privacy. So, so cameras to me, if it's an intrusion, I'm sorry, but if it saves lives and it can pinpoint we're older people, not for young people, and if the question is it's young people are objecting to this, they've got to think that in their senior years, and with dementia being a prevalent uh, disability uh, uh, and, and, and a curse for old people, that that's to me the only way tracking them by cameras or whatever means is the only way you're going to help them. I suppose now with the aging population as well, we have to be concerned about financially being able to take care of our seniors and I suppose if you can use technology in some way to maybe monitor that 2 to 6 a.m. you know mm -hmm. 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. time More frame where you know maybe then one caregiver could be monitoring mm -hmm. several patients in the same building at once or I don't know then I guess maybe financially maybe we can keep seniors at home a little longer. Mm -hmm. So I hope that I'm going to survive the rest of my life intact but the fear of one day just wandering off and not knowing where I am terrifies me and particularly in Vancouver here where we've had recent cases of people being found a few days later in the winter here are dead. I think that cameras would be absolutely ideal both in rest homes and on the streets so that we can pinpoint where that person is and locate them before something awful happens.